Greetings, dear seekers. First, I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you have a dream of a happier and more fulfilling life for yourself, but you feel lost and confused about what to do? If your answer is yes, then you are in the right place. Long ago, sages revealed eternal truths to help humans live peaceful and happy life. And for millennia, these truths have never failed to deliver their promise. Sadly, most people have ignored or forgotten these essential truths. So, I am here to refresh your memory and awaken your potential. Now is the time to reconnect and reclaim what has always been yours from the start. I want you to find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. I highly recommend that you wear your headphones for a more immersive experience. You can close your eyes if you want. Take a long, relaxing breath and let us begin. Number one, there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. We chase happiness as if it were outside us, not inside us. We think happiness depends on external factors, not internal ones. We delay happiness until we reach a goal, not enjoy the process. We forget that happiness is not something we find, achieve or possess, but something we create, choose or be. We forget that happiness is not the way to happiness, but happiness is the way. Happiness is the way means that happiness is a journey, not a destination. Number two, to understand everything is to forgive everything. We judge others harshly without knowing them. We hold grudges, seek revenge, and harbor resentment. We think we are protecting ourselves or getting justice, but we are hurting ourselves and others. We create more negativity and suffering. To forgive is to understand and let go, not condone or forget. To understand everything is to forgive everything. To forgive is to free ourselves from anger and hatred and to open our hearts to compassion and peace. Number three. Do not dwell in the past, do not worry about the future, and focus the mind on the present moment. We waste time regretting the past or worrying about the future. We miss the beauty and joy of the present moment, which is the only reality. By dwelling in the past, we create suffering. By dreaming of the future, we create expectations and attachments. By focusing on the present moment, we free ourselves from time and experience life as it is. Number four, be humble. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Knowledge is a double-edged sword. It can expand or limit us, enrich or impoverish us. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we know. There is always more to learn, explore and understand. The wise person knows that he knows nothing. He is humble, curious and open-minded. He does not have all the answers, but he asks better questions. Number five, wherever you go, go with all your heart. We live in a busy and distracted world where we forget what matters most, what makes us happy and what gives us meaning. We go through life on autopilot without paying attention to where or why we go. We miss the opportunities and blessings around us. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Go with passion, purpose and joy. Go with your whole being, not just your mind or body. Go with all your heart and you will find your way. Number six. The most important time is now. The most important person is the one you are with. The most important thing is to do good for the one who is standing at your side. We take for granted the things that are most precious. Our time, our relationships, our actions. We waste time on trivial matters, neglect loved ones, and act selfishly or carelessly. We forget that life is short and unpredictable and that every moment is a gift. We forget that every person we meet is unique and valuable and that every action we take affects ourselves and others. Number seven, if you light a lamp for someone else, it will also brighten your path. We live in a world of darkness and suffering where many people are in need of light and hope. We may think that we have nothing to offer them or that we have to take care of ourselves first, but this is a false and selfish way of thinking. By helping others, we also help ourselves. By sharing our light, we create more light in the world. By giving, we receive. Number eight, 
Before you speak, let your words pass through three gates. Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Words are powerful. They can heal or hurt, inspire or discourage, unite or divide. They can create harmony or conflict, happiness or sorrow, love or hate. They can make or break a relationship, a reputation or a life. That is why we should be careful with what we say and how we say it. Before we speak, let us ask ourselves three questions. Is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? If yes, then speak with confidence and compassion. If not, then be silent or choose better words. Number nine, no snowflake ever falls in the wrong place. We worry about things we can't control, like the past, the future, or others' actions. We feel anxious, stressed, or depressed about life's uncertainties and challenges. We doubt ourselves, our abilities, our decisions, and our worth. We forget that we are part of a larger plan, a greater order, a higher wisdom. We forget that no snowflake ever falls in the wrong place. No snowflake ever falls in the wrong place means that everything has a reason, a purpose, a perfection. It means that we can trust life's flow, accept what is, and embrace what comes. Number 10. When walking, walk. When eating, eat. We often multitask doing several things at once without giving any of them our full attention or focus. We often divide our attention between our devices, our tasks, our thoughts, and our emotions. It means that we should be fully present and engaged in whatever we are doing, without distractions or interruptions. It means that we should live each moment as if it were the only one. And those are the ten essential truths that the sages have been talking about for ages. I hope it resonated with you. Thank you for listening.